So a while back, I covered a modded weapon in the game, a weapon which just broke many aspects of the game as it was just stupid overpowered. It ruined the experience. In that same video, I spoke about the idea of modded weapons not being a bad inclusion if there was a limit on what could be done with them. A feature in which we could create weapons and have fun with them, but at the same time using them against a game which still challenges us, I wouldn't be against. In fact, I'd like to try out my own ideas in creating such weapons. Today, people, I cover weapons literally handcrafted which fit this narrative and hang around to find out how you can get your hands on some of these amazing creations. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So initially learning of modded weapons within BR3, I wasn't optimistic. And in my initial video and then finally getting onto console, I was met with a surprise that in actual fact many people don't mind them at all and some people actually enjoy using them. I just thought a weapon which one shots everything in the game would take away the experience and while many agreed some added to the point of the game being mainly a PvE game and if people paid for the game they can enjoy it how they please and I can't argue with that. In a follow up video I mentioned the idea of a feature in which weapons could be created where limits were put in place. Imagine the fun we could have creating our own weapons. Now though a feature like this is unlikely to appear, I have found the next best thing. A fellow content creator here on YouTube who goes by the name of Evil Jug aka the crafting king referred to as by his subs and in reality after playing with some of his creations he isn't just so to speak modding items he is in turn creating and crafting them now let's not get this twisted yes he's creating weapons but no he is in your everyday programmer creating items that are just stupid and ridiculous and in my opinion take away from the game this dude actually spends days on single items making them unique to a point of a lot of them besides the flavor text and the item scores looking at them and playing with them and getting the feel of them they would actually make amazing additions to the game and some of them he wouldn't actually be any other wiser. Now he spends between 8 and 20 hours on a single item. He makes sure the look, the feel and design are absolutely perfect. Also the stability of the item too, meaning he makes sure that they won't crash your systems. He creates balance with a touch of that OP-ness for fun too, which we can't argue with. Now how he does this is he farms for loot within the game. He then breaks that loot down, meaning he dissembles it within the code to get that blueprint. He then builds it up from the ground to be perfect in what he's after. And like I said, using some of these items, they are super fun. And you can see a few of them on screen now. Take a look, people. Now what's amazing about this dude is the fact he lives and plays for his community, taking aboard what they want and works tirelessly to deliver on their needs. And what he also does is give said items away, yes to both PlayStation and Xbox. Now he does this through his own community on YouTube and it's a great community to be a part of if this is your kind of thing. Now Eva Jugs is chasing that 100k subscriber dream and if you guys would like to go over there, check him out, show him some love, subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on his amazing creations and land yourself at the same time some of these handcrafted unique legendaries which range from weapons, artifacts, grenades and much much more. Definitely like I said check him out and subscribe, his channel link can be found at the top of the video description. He gives away items every Friday by the way. So get over there and land some of this unique, amazing loot. Now looking at a few more of his creations now, it really pains me that I have no idea how to do this because these are truly amazing. And with the time he spends on creating these things, I actually ain't surprised. And you can see with some of them, he takes aspects of some and splices them into others, which adds to great combos and on-screen effects. My favorite I have used so far is definitely this thing here called the Elemental Gas Cool Whispering Ice. The name itself is incredible, but this thing is just beautiful, both in design and the way in which it works. It just puts a smile on your face and that in reality people is what it all should be about. But there are many, many other amazing creations from this dude I haven't tested yet. So again, if this is what you are into, do go check him out, subscribe, turn notifications on, all of that good stuff. His channel can be found linked at the top of the video description. 
On that note, we have come to the end of the video. People, if you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.